Space Station. I'm Ultramath. I will take you and your friends on a journey to better understand your math and with the help of my space gadget. In this episode, we will continue to discuss the topic of shapes and space. Let me remind you. In the last episode, we have discussed shape and its characteristics. Let us do a quick recap. Do you still remember what parameter is? Good. That is right. Parameter is a total distance around the outside of an object or shape. It is measured in matrix or imperial units. Today's discussion is about area. Area is derived from the Latin word meaning vacant place of level ground. In mathematics, the area of a shape is the amount of surface it covers. The unit measurement for area is called square unit. For example, if you use metric units, it will be measured in square centimeters, square meters, or square kilometers. Before we begin, let us look at this playback. There are many two-dimensional shapes. Let's look at some of the examples. Triangle. A triangle is divided into 1. Equilateral triangle. It has 3 equal sides and 3 equal angles of 60 degrees each. 2. Isosceles Triangle The triangle has two equal sides and two equal angles. 3. A Scalene Triangle has no equal sides and no equal angle. 4. Right Angled Triangle This triangle has one right angle which is 90 degrees. 1. A quadrilateral shape has four sides. Some of the quadrilaterals are 1. Square, which has four equal sides and four right angles. 2. Rectangle, with two pairs of equal sides and four right angles. 3. Rhombus, or squashed square. This square has four equal sides where opposite sides are parallel and opposite angles are equal. 4. Parallelogram, squash triangle. This shape has two pairs of equal sides where opposite sides are parallel and opposite sides are equal. 5. Trapezium. This shape contains a pair of parallel sides of different lengths. 6. A kite, which has two equal sides next to each other and no parallel sides. A circle has all the points that are the same distance from the center point. A diameter, which measures the distance right across the middle of the circle, and the radius, the distance halfway across the circle. The radius is always half the length of the diameter. Polygons are shapes with many straight sides. Regular polygons have equal angles and sides of equal length. Irregular polygons have sides of different length. Polygons are divided into 1. Pentagons, which have 5 sides. 2. Hexagons which have six sides. Three heptagons, which have seven sides. And octagons, which have eight sides.
So many shapes to remember? Don't worry. For year five, you only need to remember the shape of a square, rectangle, triangle, equilateral triangle, and isosceles triangle. Let's move on. We begin with how to calculate area. Look at the example. The area of a square is the floor area of your new bedroom. If you want to put a carpet in the room, you have to calculate the area of its flat surface. To calculate the area of a square, you need to multiply length by width. So A multiplied by A equals to 2A squared. Let's say that the length and the width is 5 meters. 5 meters multiplied by 5 equals to 25 meters square. The answer is 25 meters square. So you need 25 meters square to have a carpeted floor in your room. How would you calculate the area if it were a rectangle? To calculate the area of a rectangle, you need to multiply length and width. So A multiplied by B equals to AB square. If the length equals to 10 meters and the width equals to 5 meters, you have to multiply 10 by 5. The answer is 50 meters square. to problem solving skills section in this episode. As usual, take out a piece of paper and a pencil. Let's solve some mathematical problems. Today's questions are regarding area of composite two-dimensional shapes. Before we start, let's recap. Area is the amount of surface it covers. Let's do an easy one first. Look at the diagram. In this question, the area of a shape on a grid can be found by counting the number of unit squares it covers on the grid paper. Let's count the squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The answer is 12 units squared. Do you know that two different shapes can have the same area? Here is the example. Question 2. Find the area of the shape by counting the unit squares. Look at the diagram. To make it easier, you can divide the area into two, A and B. Area A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The area equals to 8 units square. Area B, 1, 2, 3, 4. Area B equals to 4 units square. Let's add up the total to get the whole area. 8 plus 4 equals to 12 units square. The answer is 12 units square. Easy, right? Okay, how about this? Mei Fan has two identical rectangular cards. She places them as shown in the diagram. Find the total area of the two cards. For this question, let's use this guideline. First, understand the problem. Two identical rectangular cards and the area of the two cards. Second, devise a plan. Use the formula for area. Area equals to length multiplied by width. Carry out a plan. Area P is 4 cm multiplied by 8 cm. And this is equal to 32 cm square. Area Q is 4 cm. Multiplied by 8 cm equal to 32 cm square. The total is 32 cm square plus 32 cm square equals to 64 cm square. Check the answer. Multiply and add again to check the answer. The answer is 64 cm square. Let's do another one. 
A piece of rug, 3 meters by 2 meters, was placed on the floor. Calculate the area of the floor that is not covered by the rug. Let's use the guideline. First, understand the problem. Measurement of the rug is 3 centimeters by 2 meters. Find the area that is not covered by the rug. Second, devise a plan. Find the length and width of the outer area. To get the length, 3 meters plus 1 meter plus 1 meter equals to 5 meters. The width, 2 meters plus 1 meter plus 1 meter equals to 4 meters. Third, use the formula for area. Area equals to length multiplied by the width. Area of the floor, 5 meters multiplied by 4 meters equals to 20 meters square. Area of the rug is 3 meters multiplied by 2 meters equals to 6 meters square. Subtract the floor area and the rug area to get the area not covered by the rug. 20 meters square subtracting 6 meters square equals to 14 meters square. The answer is 14 meters square. Let's count the square to get the answer. Let us count the square. 1, 2, 2 squares. Let's count the triangle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 triangles. As this is an equilateral triangle, it has 2 equal sides and 3 equal angles. As you can see, two equilateral triangles can be combined to make one square. Let's divide the eight triangles to get the full square. Eight divided by two equals to four. Now let's add up the centimeters square. Two centimeters square plus four centimeters square equals to six centimeters square. The shape has an area of six centimeters square. The answer is six centimeters square. Find the area of the following diagram. We begin the calculation by simplifying it into two segments, A and B. The rule is, area equals to length multiplied by width. Area A is 2 cm multiplied by 2 cm equals to 4 cm square. Area B, 6 cm multiplied by 6 cm equals to 36 cm square. Add up the area of A and B. So 4 cm square plus 36 cm square is equal to 40 cm square. The answer is 40 cm square. Question 3 will involve calculating the area of different shapes. Let's start. Find the area of the following figure. We begin the calculation by simplifying it into a rectangle which area we shall name it as E, and the square we name it as F. The rule is, the area equals to length multiplied by width. Area E is 10 cm multiplied by 2 cm is equal to 20 cm square. Area F is 3 cm square multiplied by 3 cm square is equal to 9 cm square. Add it up. 20 cm square plus 9 cm square equals to 29 cm square. The answer is 29 cm square. Let's do a clone UPSR 2005 paper 1 question. The diagram shows a rectangular floor. Two square carpets are placed on the floor. The area of each carpet is 3 meters square. Calculate the area in meters square of the floor which is not covered by the carpet. The solution? Find the area of the floor and the area of the carpet. Remember, area equals to length multiplied by width. Area of the floor is 18 meters multiplied by 10 meters, which is equal to 180 meters square. Area of the two carpets is 2 multiplied by 3 meters square equals to 6 meters square. To get the area 
not covered by the carpet, we have to subtract the area of the floor with the area of the carpet. So 180 meters square subtract 6 meters square equals to 174 meters square. The answer is C, 174 meters square. How about that? I hope you are now well equipped to do the question on two-dimensional shapes for your exam. Till we meet again, bye-bye. <laughs>